Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. The Deputy President, Dr. William Samoy Araputo, and his entire brigades today held a mega rally, what they termed as uh, the mother of all political rallies in Eldoret Town. The rally was attended massively. I will do a comprehensive analysis about that particular video tomorrow. But there's a statement by Mithika Linturi talking about Madawadawa, which I also feel I should do an analysis about. But I'm not doing that now. For now, I want us to focus on the presence of one man, the Kakamega Senator Cleophas Malala, during that particular rally. Cleophas Malala was present in the rally. And Malala was cheeky. He attended that rally donning ANC party colors. The ANC party has already issued a statement about the presence of Cleophas Malala disowning Malala for attending or disassociating itself from the rally in Elroy Town. I'm just trying to see if I can get that uh, statement by ANC party very very fast let me just just a second that's a second now this is the statement by ANC party let me just read it for you it is signed by the secretary general simon k gakura it says the ANC party would like to dissociate itself with the activities taking place at eldoret sports club ground where UDA party is holding its rally. NC has not sent anybody to represent either the party or the party leader in the said function. The official party position should come from the party leader or the secretary general. Now, that's where the problem is. When Clofas Malala invited the deputy president, Dr. William Somera Pruto, to preside over his event, in Kakamega, Muslim Davadi came to his defense, and the defense was simple, that Malala has the right to associate. And I remember doing a comprehensive analysis about that particular Mumias event. And I opined at that time that unless Muslim Davadi is a, a lambda leader, there is no way Malala could have invited the deputy president without his approval. But let us now focus on this particular event. Because I listened to Malala's statement very closely. Malala is saying that for them, o Oka, one Kenya lands, their problem as NC is different from others' problem. That their friendship, friends are different from other people's friends. Which makes which made sense to me, for example. Friends of Musala, anybody like Railo Dinka can, can uh, take Alonzo Musioka as his friend. That might not be the same to Muslim Davadi. But what can you interpret by this particular attendance of Malala? In my view, in my view, I think there are several things which we must look at. Number one, why is Muslim Davadi still, in my view, why is Mudavadi still accepting? Clofas Malala as one of his party members. What Malala has done, what he did by inviting Ruto to that event, and again was what he has done today, and Malala was very clear that he was sent by Muslim Davadi. That one is enough for any serious political leader to kick out errant member. Unless Malala is working for Muslim Davadi, Musalem Davadi should never allow Malala to continue doing what he's doing. In fact, I've read the statement by ANC party. That statement is nothing. Musalem Davadi should call for a press conference. And in that press conference, Musalem Davadi should disown Malala. Or Malala himself should decide now to dissociate from Musalem Davadi if Mudavadi is going to disown him. Otherwise, we are going to conclude that Malala is actually working and representing 
Musalia Mudavadi during these particular events. The truth of the matter, which we can't also run away from, is that Malali is not the only ANC party leader who is parting ways from ANC party leader. There is uh, Ayub Savula who announced that he's going to join Azimiola Umoja. For him, it was very clear and very specific that he's joining Azimio Laumoja because the One Kenya Lands Movement is not serious. Malala also ought to be very clear that he's joining William Samoya Raputo because ANC Party or One Kenya Lands Movement or One Kenya Lands Movement or even Azimio cannot take them anywhere. So the truth of the matter is that Malala is working for Muslim Ravadi. And that's why Muslim Davadi has not this only. Number two, I also tend to think that William Samoy Ruto has a clear strategy of breaking ANC party if Muslim Davadi is not going to play ball. He's using these techniques to win the support of ANC party. Today's event in Elore Town was huge. It was UDA party. Then Malala making up an appearance at that event, donning, Malala donning, ANC party shots there. That alone signified Muslim Davadi's party's presence at that event. Then he's given a chance to talk. Then he talks not so well or good about one Kenya Alliance movement. What is the real mission? The idea of the DP is that one Kenya Alliance movement is likely to break or disintegrate. So he's offering them a soft landing. So Muslim Davadi will break away from one Kenya Lance movement and will jump straight, in my view, to UDA party. I don't know what you think, but if you ask me, William Ruto has a clear strategy and that strategy is geared towards winning the support of Muslim Davadi. William Ruto noticed that Muslim Davadi had a weakness. He cannot organize events. Malala has a strength of organizing events. So when ANC party was organizing those rallies in Western Kenya, Malala played a huge role. And by that, he won the support of ANC party leader, Musali Abdavadi. William Ruto was behind it. So by the time Musali Abdavadi will realize that Ruto was behind all this, it will be late already for him. But it is William Ruto's strategy to win the support of ANC party leader. Number three, I also tend to think that Musali Abdavadi could have been sent to that event by none other than Musalia Mudavadi, so as to test the waters. Musalia Mudavadi, in my view, is headed to ANC to for a coalition with William Samara Pluto, but he's not sure about the ground. So what Musa, what uh, what uh, Malala is doing is basically to test the ground. So I'm sure after the book the Mumias event, they tested the ground, they gauged how the ground reacted. Again today, in Eldoret, Malala presence there, they are also going to gauge how the ground in Western Kenya is going to react. So after gauging the ground and testing the waters, then Muslim Ravadi can then finally decide to take a path which is good for him. But if you ask me, the truth of the matter is that Malala cannot do whatever he's doing without the support of ANC party. ANC party is supporting it. And if ANC party is not supporting it, tomorrow they should call a press conference and write a warning letter to Cleophas Malala. Number four, in my view, is that ANC party is a party which doesn't have a leader. That is what is coming out. Ayub Savula, who is the who is the Deputy party leader is supporting Raila Odinga openly and has announced that for him he's not leaving ANC party but he's out of one Kenya Lands movement and therefore he's going to support Azimio. Now we have Malala again doing the same. The worst bit of it, especially for Malala because Savula is now out, someone like Malala who is alleging that his mission is to ensure that Musali Davadi as a lawyer runs for the presidency. But here he is endorsing William Ruto for the presidency, donning ANC party leader, I mean ANC party colors. 
I can only interpret that to mean that ANC party is rudderless, colorless, and without any direction. And lastly, <clears throat> there's a statement which Musali Madavadi made about freedom of association. That statement by Musali Madavadi will haunt him throughout his entire political life. He defended he defended Mudavadi, he defended um, Malala. But the same Mudavadi fought the former NC party secretary general, Godfrey Otsosi. When Otsosi started supporting Raila Odinga, when that was happening, there was no freedom of association involved. But when it's Malala attending Ruto's rally, there's the freedom of association. The truth of the matter is that we, uh, is that uh, Muslim Dover is going to find it rough because more of his party supporters are going to start associating with the opponents. And because Muslim Dover is not warning uh, Malala, he will not have any other excuse. I don't know what you think. But in my view, Malala is actually working for and Malala is representing Muslim Davadi in the UDA politics. Muslim Davadi is going to join UDA. If he's not going to join UDA, rest assured that he's going to run for the presidency, but the bulk of his funding is going to come from William Ruto with the sole aim of trying to stop Raila Molodinga from winning the support in the larger Western Kenya. And ultimately, when a rerun is uh, forced, then William Ruto will have a soft landing. ANC will have candidates who will be friendly to William Ruto and they'll be supporting Ruto during runoff. I don't know what to think, but that's my thoughts. But for the statement by Mithika Linturi, I don't know what to think about it. Do you think Linturi was talking of UDA party not allowing their opponents in Rift Valley? Or is it a warning for other tribes in Rift Valley? Let me hear your thoughts. And until that time, this is Lee McQueen. Bye-bye.